On Shape now lets you import OBJ and STL mesh files for use as reference geometry to help you create new designs around existing products. The mesh file will be translated on import and added to a new part studio. Since mesh files do not contain unit data, you may need to tweak the import settings to get the mesh looking right. If you edit the import feature, you can set the y axis direction and you can also change the mesh units. A mesh is a special kind of object in Onshape. All meshes appear under a new subheading in the parts list. Here, you can hide and show each mesh, and you can edit the appearance of a mesh to add colour or transparency. If the mesh is fully enclosed so that it has a volume, then adding a material to the mesh allows you to interrogate its mass properties and include those calculations in your final design. You can also take measurements directly off a mesh by selecting two vertices. You then get all the usual measurement information in the lower right corner. There are a number of ways you can manipulate a mesh. You can use the transform tool to move it and rotate it if the origin of the original scan data is in the wrong location. You can also copy it or scale it. You can mirror, create a circular or linear pattern, and add make connectors to any vertex on the mesh, so you can derive the mesh into another part studio and reposition it easily. You can also section a mesh. So how can a mesh be used as reference geometry during a design? You can use the vertices of a mesh to create a three-point plane and build sketches that drive extrudes and revolves, or in this case to loft a surface through a number of sketches that reference the mesh vertices. A reference mesh can also be used to modify an existing design based on the results of a simulation. Here, a design has been refined in a topology optimization software and the resultant mesh imported back into Onshape. First derive the mesh into the part studio, then move it to the correct location. One way to do this would be to create a sketch to help position the mesh. To find the center of this hole, you can create a circle through three points. But before you can do that, you must first project the points from the mesh into the current sketch. This is because the mesh vertices do not lie on the current sketch plane. Now that you have a circle that approximates the whole center, you can add a line from the center of that circle to the hole on the original part, using a concentric constraint to fix the endpoint. Now you have a line that you can use with the transform tool. Select the mesh and the line and the mesh is repositioned. As with any type of topology optimization, the resultant geometry can be a little crazy, and most of the time it can be manufactured or would cost too much, so it makes sense to modify your original design as close as you can to the mesh without compromising manufacturability. You can add additional features to cut away the excess material, or you can edit your original sketches. Since this mesh has not been reordered, you can use the final button to edit your sketch while being able to see the mesh. In these cases, it is not a good idea to reference the mesh itself, but approximate it and add meaningful dimensions that are easy to manufacture and easy to inspect. If you are removing material with an extrude, you can, however, reference a vertex on the mesh to define the depth of the extrude. The final design is optimized for mass, maintains its structural integrity, and is easy to manufacture. This is just one of the many use cases for mesh reference geometry in Onshape.